When it comes to securing the software supply chain for your container workloads, one of the common strategies is to scan your images in the CI stage for any dependency vulnerabilities. And this has become an increasingly popular approach to mitigate the risks of the different threat vectors that are presented in the container and Kubernetes space. Now, as good as this is, it's still not enough. See, the thing about scanning in your CI CD pipeline is that a scan is an event at a particular point in time when certain vulnerabilities are known and listed in the CVE database that you're working with. After that, your containers end up in a runtime environment, but there may be a new threat that comes up which was unknown at the time of the scan that you did in a pipeline. A friend of mine likes to say this is a rear view mirror strategy, but how do you deal with the new threats that come to light when your container images are already up and running in production? And that's why scanning your repositories is so important. A ditch I used to fall into was prioritizing pipeline scans, and I'm certainly not saying we should do away with them altogether. I've just learned to value the ongoing scanning of your container image repositories. That way, you essentially take somewhat of a proactive approach to new vulnerabilities and prioritize responding to those occurrences with security-specific upgrades to your workloads, as opposed to just relying on a one-time event in the pipeline when your image scan passed. As a result, you're not only relying on the rearview mirror strategy, but also putting yourself in the best possible position for what may come up in your windscreen view. And now, I'm going to show you how you can accomplish this by setting up continuous scanning of your image repositories with New Vector. All right, so I'm already signed into my new vector account, which is running on an Amazon EKS cluster. And now I'm going to proceed to show you how you can easily set up container registry scans. And I'm going to use a repo of mine inside of my Docker Hub account, but you can use other registries. So if you've seen some of the previous videos that have been uploaded to our channel, you might have seen me working with different example applications, one of which would be the e-commerce orders application. So this is the specific repository for it. And you might have deployed this in following one of those examples, but let's find out just how secure this workload actually is by setting up a scan for all of the previous versions in this particular repository. So I'm going to come to assets and head over to registries and I'm going to add that particular repo. So I love this feature. It's just a quick way of making sure that you've actually got a positive uh, connection with the specific registry that you're trying to connect to and set up with new vector. All right, so once that's all done, you can then choose the particular interval that you want um, if you wanna go ahead with periodic scans, which is definitely good. And of course, I wanna be scanning the different layers for my images. And so I'm gonna set this up for five minute intervals. Great. So as you can see, we are in the process of scanning at the moment. And if I bring your attention to the different images inside of that particular repository over here, you'll be able to see a nice layout of all the different um, levels of vulnerability based on the findings of new vector. And um, that's just a good way of actually planning and strategizing of which workloads you need to uh, prioritize with remediating based on the particular findings. And you can see some of them are still in the process of scanning. But what I'm going to do is click on one of these. Let me actually reorder this. I want to go with the latest and I'm going to click on that. And as you can see over here, we can actually get more details. And um, as I mentioned, you can take a look at the different CVE um, records that we have over here. And it's a good way of actually seeing the particular issues that were found. You can see the severity score. Um, in addition to that, you also get details of the fixed version. So this can help you with actually upgrading to new versions for particular um, packages that you may be using in your applications. And you can take a look at the compliance and the modules as well over here. And so this is something that I also really like. And so you can see over here with BusyBox and um, we'll be able to see over here the fixed version for this particular finding that we have. And you'll be able to compare that to the one that you're currently running for this particular application. So lots of details that you can dive into in order to make sure that you have secure images that you're using for your containers. So 
Um, this goes beyond just having those um, scans that you're doing in the CI stage of your pipeline. And as I mentioned, as important as that is, you want to make sure that you're also doing these continuous scans for your registries based on new information that comes up in the in the CVE databases and remediate those. And you can see how New Vector helps you with that and finding the uh, versions that have remediations for those particular issues. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you're interested in learning more about Kubernetes security and New Vector, be sure to sign up for one of our upcoming events. We're continuously running these short courses to equip you with your cloud native security strategy.